Hello, and welcome to the SM Cast. The SM Cast is a weekly podcast where we discuss things about YouTube news, YouTube stuff, uh, success stories, my stories, which are not success stories. We talk about how to help you. We talk about how to help me. You know, we talk about a bunch of stuff. And uh, today's episode, we are going to be talking about something very important. We are going to be talking about YouTube collaborations and the importance of them because YouTube collaborations are actually very important and I highly recommend you do them under certain circumstances. Remember that under certain circumstances, there is a limit as to how many collaborations you can do. There's a limit to what you should be doing, how far out you should be branching, who you should be collabing with, and a lot much more. Let's jump into this episode. We're going to start out with some uh, personal stuff. Let's go. So, uh, welcome to the SM Cast. I'm your host, SM22. Uh, this is episode 22, right? Is it? Is this episode 22? I believe it's episode 22. Uh, YouTube collaborations are very important. But before we get into that, let's talk about some stuff that's been going on. Uh, like I said, I joined the team, uh, Masters Draft League MDL. I am their, the head editor for that, for that YouTube channel. Go check them out, uh, if you have not already. Uh, they are a very, gr- they're a bunch of great people. And, uh, literally 10 min- 10 seconds before I started recording this podcast, I just finished editing, uh, the video that is supposed to go out tomorrow at the time of recording, the same day as this podcast, actually. Um, so it's kind of cool. Because I was able to get that done and be able to still record this right now. Um, it hasn't been too much of a big workload. I've been editing an extra two videos a week. Which isn't bad. Uh, I've been able to keep up with it pretty consistently. Um, Hydra's kind of knocked out this week a little bit though. Uh, just a bunch of stuff kind of got in the way. And uh, unfortunately like it didn't really uh, turn out as planned like with the versus schedules and stuff. Um... And it did kind of, it was kind of off scheduled, but, uh, it was like, yeah, I mean, I get it. He was getting a little burnt out from just from stuff. Uh, so, you know, completely understandable, uh, makes a bunch of sense. Anyway, uh, something, another thing that was kind of important <laughs> was, uh, I was able to get through a week of school, which was good. And I just kind of, you know. Uh, this weekend I have a bunch of stuff to do. I'm starting a new project that I'm working on. It is not going to drop until the summertime, but it is currently something bigger than just about anything else I've ever done before. You guys are going to like it. I think you are. It's going to be, it's going to be something entirely different from, from just, from previous, uh, from previous, what do you call it? Incarnations, I guess. (laughs) Um, uh, it, it was... It was actually, it's actually super cool. I, I made the script for it, uh, for the first episode, um, and I'm just, I'm excited for it. Hope you guys are excited for that as well when it finally drops. Um, so let's, let's jump into it. Let's go. YouTube collaborations are very important. So if you do not know what a YouTube collaboration or a collab is, it's when two YouTubers uh, not even just YouTubers, like music collaborations, film collaborations. A collaboration is when two different people come together to create one product. And most of the time, collaborations are good. Like, for example, uh, last year, I believe, either last year or the year before, Ed Sheeran released an album literally just titled Collaborations Number 6 or something like that. And it was just full of collaborations. And that album was actually very good. Um, some collaborations don't work out as well as others. I understand that. But for the most part, collabs work out pretty well. Uh, the upside of collaborations is that you have, uh, two audiences both drawn together to the same product to see, uh, overlap. Like, for example, uh, I'm doing a collaborative series, The Versus with Hydrus, which means people who are subscribed to me but not subscribed to Hydrus are seeing our content together and then is looking at his channel and is like, oh, I'm going to subscribe. He's gaining subscribers because of that. Same same deal, vice versa. And it's kind of like feeding subscribers through the through the through a circle. And it kind of makes uh it makes a infinitive in a way, where the more subs one person gets, the more subs the other person would get. Uh not by default, but because they're go because they're working together and they're working towards a common goal. 
Um, some collaborations are not good though. Like for example, Logan Paul and Jake Paul when they would whenever they would do a either a collaboration or a diss track at, aimed at each other, it was explicitly for the ideal of gaining subscribers and causing tension as opposed to oh, I want to work with this content creator because I really like their work. It's it's different when it's intended for something that isn't that isn't enjoyment first and foremost unfortunately a lot of people take advantage of the benefits that collaborations can give to you and that's probably its biggest drawback to be honest but uh another drawback of collaborations is that you have to make time for the collaborations which means you kind of have to put aside other stuff in order to work together in order to have stuff coming out around the same time in order to be able to fit schedules to line up with each other which is actually very difficult it's more difficult than you think uh, to have two people's schedules line up, uh, at just the right time. Like, for example, when, uh, when Hydras and I record the verses, we get up, <laughs> like, five, six in the morning, and record, uh, at that time. And it is kind of irritating to have to do that, but it's something that we both enjoy recording. We both enjoy recording the verses, we're like, hey, you know, this gives us an excuse to, like, really talk to each other, get to know each other, get to be friends. So, it's... It's a win-win situation for us. Like, yeah, we have to wake up early. But the benefit of actually having a friend is diff- is worth more than the lack of sleep that you would get from having to wake up early. Now, um, that in and of itself isn't really a drawback. It's more of a neutral standpoint because, yes, you get to – yes, you are forced to uh, change up your schedule to fit your, your collaborative partner's schedule. But – they also have to change up theirs to fit yours, and you get to work with your friend. So it's kind of a win-win. It's kind of a I have to give this up, but I'm getting more in return kind of aspect. So collaborations are very important. We've just we've talked about why they're very important. Um, but there is a limit to how many collaborations you can be doing at once. You can only spread yourself so thin. Now a lot of people can be like, hey, you can collab with as many people as you want. And yes, you can. You can collab with as many people as you want. But it is not smart to collab with as many people as you want at the exact same time. The main reason being that if you are all to collab at the exact same time, like one series, another series, another series, another series, that's just way too much on on your plate. Not only would recording uh, take forever, because if you were to record, uh, if each series was to go out once a week even, and each episode was like 45 minutes, each week... That is about seven hours of recording content, half of which isn't even going to be up on your channel. Now, yes, you are getting traction from the other person's channel, but spreading yourself too thin is also, you know, spreading yourself too thin. Now, in order, now, since most series don't drop once a week, that's maybe a good 15 hours of recording right there. If you did, if you did seven series back to back to back to back to back at the same time, now that's not going to happen. But uh, there also is kind of a limit to how many people you can collaborate with at the same time, like, in a singular project. I would say, so far, the max is four. Because five and more, it kind of makes it feel like it's overcrowded, you know? Like, yeah, four, uh, a four-way uh, collaboration is probably about as... It's about as good as you're going to get, honestly. Because uh, it, there's no better way to get it, to, to get it going. Because just, there's just, uh, you know, like, if you have more than about four people, it's, it gets overcrowded. Like, for example, if Hydrus, Riaz, Mysterious32, myself, Ray's, and, like, two other people were to do a collaboration, that's seven people. None of us would get any spotlight because we'd all be fighting t- to speak. We wouldn't be really be laughing because it's like, oh, you know, uh, I'm trying to talk, but this other person is talking over me, and this other other person is talking over me, which means that we're all talking over each other, which means we're stumbling upon each other, which also means that none of us are able to speak, which means that, uh, that viewers aren't going to want to see each of us individually because they'll say, no, there's way too many freaking people, and, you know, it's th- then it would be a little bit too... Uh, crazy you know it's it's that's what it is it's a little bit too crazy uh it's too 
overcrowded. You know, so there is a limit to the amount of series at one time, the amount of people in one collaboration. So if you don't exceed those, you should be fine. Now, another thing that you have to, would have to get going would be uh, editing. Um, because with when it comes to editing, that's also very important. Um, if you can edit everything together, then it's nice. But it, you kind of have to like... You kind of have to pick your battles uh, when it comes to editing. Um, uh, at, <laughs> I, I'm kind of drawing a blank for whatever reason. I don't know why. But it's, it's very important to understand uh, that collaborations are like not supposed to be about the views collaboration is not supposed to be about the subscribers you can get from it just like youtube just like creating videos like for a living and stuff not just not for a living but if you're creating videos if you're a small youtube creator it is not about the views it is not about the subs a lot of people think that like the main reason why i'm collaborating with hydras right now is because uh he wants my subs and he wants my views and i want his subs and his views not really uh we just we clicked we're like hey you know we should do a project together you know it'd be cool and uh, we work well together. We really do. So I feel like if we're able to do that, then we're able to have fun with it. So we're not doing it for views. We're not doing it for subscribers. We're doing it because it's something that we genuinely want to do. It's something that we really feel like we could accomplish. Uh, because if if we can if we can accomplish it, then it'll be good to go. Hopefully, uh, it's good to go, <laughs> probably. Yeah. Um, so, it's kind of... Collaborations are very important, but don't let it overtake your stuff. Because, the, like, with collaborations, it shouldn't be your only thing. You should be doing your other stuff as well. Um, to set yourself apart, honestly. Because we can make it... You can make it something special. You, you can make collaboration special, but you got to make sure that you're offering your own stuff to the table as well. Uh, I'm sorry that I seemed like kind of distracting this episode. I'm very tired. But um, that's about all I really have to say. Like just in kind of like a short term thing right now that I'm just saying just because. Um, thanks for watching or listening. I always say watching. Thank you for listening to this episode. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to feature on an episode of the SMCast, hit me up. Um, if you have a topic that you want me to cover, also hit me up for that as well. Thank you so much for listening. I am your host, SM22, and this has been the SMCast.